Welcome to Northern Technical College. My name is uh, Patrick Mandona, lecturer in the AV equipment section. So I want to take you through the gear rotation. So this gear rotation is the principle that is used in the automotive power transmission. When the engine is running, the engine rotates in a clockwise direction. Most of the engines that we have are clockwise uh, rotated, meaning that uh, the flywheel is rotating in a clockwise direction and the power is available there. So now there is a gearing system that is uh, incorporated from the clutch or the torque converter up to the wheels. So that gearing uh, design that is there is the one that helps to transmit the engine power to the road wheels or to any other equipment that uh, the engine is driving. So there are different gear arrangements that helps to transmit power. And at the same time, the engine keeps rotating in one direction only, while the vehicle can move in reverse and move forward, while the engine is just rotating in one direction. So this gearing system that we are going to look at is the one that uh, makes it possible to reverse the transmission while maintaining one direction of rotation of the engine. So one design that is used is where two gears are meshed externally. This is one gear and the other gear. So they are meshed externally. And the first gear here is the one being driven by the engine or in the direction of rotation of the engine. So if another gear is uh, coupled to it, it will reverse automatically the direction of the engine, meaning that the output will be in the opposite direction to that of the engine. And this is what is used in our transmission system. The other design is where we have three gears uh, coupled together or meshed. So the first one will be the input gear, rotating clockwise. Then another design of an hydra gear put in the middle will reverse the direction of the input gear. Then the third one becomes the output gear. And because there is an hydra which is reversing, the third one will be in the same direction with the input. So in this design, we maintain the direction of rotation of the input gear. And all gearboxes use this design where there is an hydra. At the end, when the engine is running, the gear, the output shaft, which is connected to the propeller shaft, will be running in the same direction with the engine flywheel. And in this case, the vehicle is going in the forward direction. So this is the design that, that is put in almost all the gearboxes. Now, if you want to do a reverse, you put another gear, which is called an hydra, and it to reverse, and the vehicle runs in reverse. The other gearing system that is incorporated is where two gears are meshed. One big gear outside, the other smaller gear inside. This design, the end result will be a same direction. Here we maintain same direction, no change. The other gearing system that is incorporated is an epicyclic gear train. So the epicyclic gear train has got multiple gears inside. There is internally meshed gears and externally meshed gears in one compound gear. So meaning that here we are going to get multiple direction depending on the direction. And this is the gearing system that is used in, the, in some final drives in the hub. At the same time, in most of the automatic gearboxes, they are using this type of uh, gearing. Thank you very much.